Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, actually, we've been waiting for this day. Uh, why? Because uh, it's that day where. <sighs> Sorry. Um, where there is interest rates, FOMC statement, Federal Reserve Rates. Later today, uh, later actually tonight, uh, at 8 o'clock. So the market currently or during the day, the market might play games. The market won't move that much. But during that time, during that time, around 8 o'clock there, uh, up to half past, or the whole day actually after 8, uh, we're going to see some crazy moves. Uh, actually, volatility, uh, sorry, uh, volatile uh, market, you see. So, uh, actually, they might increase with 75 basis points, uh, which is the number that we know now. And if they increase with that, I feel, or oh, I think, like, the market won't just actually aggressively sell because that is the number that we already know. But you should understand that even if it's the number that we already know, but it's still an increase uh, from the current interest rate. So, it means... Now we're going to go on 4%. So which means that is actually big. That's crazy. And I think maybe this is not the last increase, you see. So they can still increase again. You see, so yeah, that, that is something that we should actually check. Uh, for those who want to learn from me, if you want to learn from me, or if you just want the signals, it's $150. Uh, if you want lifetime, it's uh, at $250. Uh, it's lifetime that. So, yeah, I, I hope maybe you understand. I hope you understand. So, let's see. Let's see actually what's really happening. You can see that uh, at 8, actually, we have those interest rates. So, let's see what, uh, let's see uh, how they're going to. Yeah, here they show me 4%. They say estimate or let's say, yeah, forecast is say, uh, is going to be 4%, which means if we minus this 3.5 and this 4% is going to give us 75, right? So, which means they say they will increase with 75. If that number is going to go crazy, let's say it's 100 basis points, that is going to be something we're going to see the likes of NASDAQ selling. US dollar gaining very, very strong. If that number is going to be smaller, let's say maybe they're going to increase with 50 basis points. Okay. Uh, it means the market can start to push up, which means they did not actually go aggressive. I hope you understand that because you trade in the market. So, yes, don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends. Mm? So, guys, uh, we're not going live actually. -ish. It's Wednesday um, and I'm actually tired, guys. I'm actually tired seriously tired the reason behind that is uh since you see when you when we release the the system like when we release the robot there is some always some updates so you can't just get things right uh, at once sometimes we get things nice and then we mess thing uh, uh something very small thing out you see so that is the problem so yeah i'm still trying to 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 attend to that issue so that my people in the robot group they can eat yes the robot is still 150 dollars uh, remember if you want to be part of that team 150 dollars uh, you also get the support so yes i'm still attending that uh, because we have an updated version of that prime ea which is going to open multiple uh, trays but there was something that we actually uh, messed out there so it takes time to take the trades so actually yes uh, and that was the issue even before that we need to make sure that we have multiple uh, trades and stuff like that then we did correct that after the finalization i think something just changed there so we need to make sure that that is fixed so that's the advantage of being in the group because you're going to get the support. And you know what? To trade with the robot actually helps you uh, actually with your emotions because you don't go to have emotions because the, the robot just takes. 
take the, uh, the, the, the signal by itself. It can lock, it can open multiple positions. And remember that feature, what I like about that, and this actually made us to take time, is the feature of adding multiple position because that feature actually, it doesn't just open multiple positions at once. Once you start to get into profit, actually it scales up. That's the advantage of using this. But yes, uh, we can get things uh, right as like as quick as quick as ten minutes or something. So, but maybe by the end of today or tomorrow, I'll make sure that everything is done. So, apologies to my people in the group. Uh, I'm trying. I'm on that. I'm on that. So, uh, what's really happening on the market? Uh, as you know, that uh, we start with Bitcoin. Uh, I think yesterday the market was trying to push the upside. Uh, on Bitcoin side. So let's see that if maybe that is uh, actually happening. Uh, as you can see, yes, the market was on this aggressive sell. So if we go closer, let's go close, very, very close. If we can go closer, you can easily see that, yes, the market sometimes uh, it's just playing games around the certain area that I talked about. Uh, as I told you, if you still remember, I said for us to buy, the market has to move above this area. Obviously, yes, we no longer count this. So I want the market to move above this area. You can see the market is just consolidating there. You see, the market is just playing games around this area. So what we want here is to do what? Is to wait for the market to push the upside before we say we can buy. You can see I, I did place that buy stop uh, for quite some time there. So maybe uh, if maybe the market is unable to push the upside, maybe we'll see a sell off. That is also possible. <sighs> you see, so yeah, that's what that's what uh, I'm thinking. So, but this bearish move there uh, is quite strong. But uh, still, this around 18,000, the market did hold very, very nice because since then, the market never sold that much. But the market was just consolidating. So that might be actually our very next, very strong uh, 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 support. So what's really happening on German or DAX? Yes, the market is, is been doing what? It's been going down, uh, down, 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 down. Guess what? The market just broke out of that. And that we call it after the market breaks out of this. Obviously, the market means that um, um, I, I want to push the upset. The market wants to push to the upset. So we should just go there and just try to check that nice. As the market is trying to push the upset, you can see, yeah, something like this. Uh, something like this. You can see that the market is trying to create that. And if you don't see that, you just have to make sure you see that because you might miss some very nice moves. Uh, you see, we had this area here, also another area there. So the market is actually showing us that I'm creating this area, but at the same time pushing to the upset. The market is just, uh, you can see even here, Pushing up, come down, pushing up. Uh, this one was very small. I'm not going to count that, but you can see that we had something. So we can push that resistance up to this point. Even on top here, you can see the market is trying to create something, but now it pushed a little bit higher. But at the same time, we also have a support area, a line that the market respects. The market just comes here and bounces there. So now it should be obvious on your side to say, uh, since we see that the market is bouncing like this, there's a chance that the market can do what? Can push the upside. So the best thing that you can do, don't just jump on the market. Wait for the market and have uh, something like, or even if you don't wait, you can just say, I will just place my pending order a few pips above where the market will be and something like that. When the market comes back, as the market usually respects the support, mostly the market will come and get your pending order. Simple as that. So yeah, uh, I think maybe you understand. I think you understand. Yes, we are still bullish on German, German, German. So what's really happening on, on, on gold? Gold is on a very, very nice, big, a very strong uh, downtrend. Uh, if maybe we go back, but uh, since we did that for quite some time, I think I showed you several times 
about this sell uh, pending or uh, i mean about this downtrend so what's really happening now is uh, yes we did have a smaller profit what's really happening now is below that area we also have an area that we can call uh, a support you see that a support so i'm expecting the market to reach this area maybe to break after that or maybe to respect that and to push to the upside but currently currently it seems like the market will be doing what the market will be trying to push the lower side but uh, what i know is today we have a fomc and uh, there is a chance enough chance by the way that the market can do what the market can keep pushing lower if things still favors the dollar so it means uh, we might see the market trying to do it to push push lower again which means we can say okay we can take the sell if maybe the market will do that but if not maybe we'll see the market breaking that and trying to push the upside uh, firstly we have this uh, stronger resistant firstly the market has to break that before we say anything but beside that we just have to relax uh, and they uh, say maybe we might have a sell pending order around that area do you see how i do this thing you should learn from me if you want contact me whatsapp me telegram me if you want to be part of the team something like that so uh, we might have something like that or maybe the market will break this area but since we are on this downtrend we are expecting the market to keep selling so yeah i hope you understand so what's really happening on on on, on your stating uh on a four hours time frame you can see that yeah we are actually on a bigger bigger time frame but just to show you or to remind you you can easily see that you know what even if maybe even if maybe they say things are the same these are not the same guys you can see or i know this one is quite simple look uh, so what do you expect here there is a chance for the market to do what to continue with that that is a room a very nice room because already the market has been there for quite some time the market can play around this game around this area maybe before pushing to the upside yes there is a, a chance or a room for the market to break this area because the market is very closer there it can break this area and start to push the upside especially when the market is showing the momentum like this you see so let's go closer there and try to see what's really happening let's let's go closer so what's really happening here is yes you can see that actually yeah we did smash that actually yesterday so what is really happening here is i'm expecting the market to do what to respect this area and start to push the lower side yes we seen that the market was pushing up aggressively until we touch this area so you can actually do something like this and say you know what you can do something like this and say you see that area that area it's an area that we think maybe it's a resistant so sorry not that we think it's actually a resistant but if the market moves beyond this area as we also have this diagonal uh, 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 resistant we will say let's wait for the market to break that before we take a buy because that can be a very long buy. maybe to uh, go into december that we might have a very nice buy but uh, i think i think maybe the market might respect and push lower just that is what i'm thinking it's not like what is going to happen you see so there's a chance that the market can still sell off but especially when we see that okay we see that we are on a resistance that is quite easy for us to say yes uh, we see what's really happening so yes there's a chance for the market to break that but uh, we just need to follow what's uh, whatever the market is trying to give us i hope you understand that please guys smash that subscribe button like share with your friends so what's really happening here uh on 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 on, on nasdaq i think it's quite straightforward i think it's straight it's quite straightforward the market has been doing what the market has been uh, going down for quite some time yes now the market maybe might be 
trying to push the upside but guess what we did get a, a resistance there and the market actually respected that you see you can see that uh, let's try to go closer maybe you will see yesterday actually you can see we did smash that very one uh, very nice uh, even though we did not touch the take profit uh but yes we were halfway there so what happened actually is yes we have some areas here uh, as actually uh, an area where we can call a resistant even the diagonal one here we also have a diagonal resistant uh, on top there guess what the market actually respected that area and i just sent the sell stop guess what they did move that one they did smash and that's actually very great that's actually very great but uh, I think we can see another continuation, but with the interest rates, guys, they can go crazy. The market can push up before pushing down. So be careful. Be actually careful. For those who have the robots, guys, try to be safe. Uh, maybe the two hours, three hours before the, the market. But two hours is very early because what if you have opened uh, there is uh, like opened positions and maybe they are not even trying to close or maybe they are in negative so it's better just to stay safe today on friday we also have nfp so it's a very interesting week so yeah uh i hope you understand it so i'm expecting the market maybe to keep pushing lower as the market is just respecting that area or maybe the market can still push up then come down again but we have this area which we need to break before we do it we go to the lower side yesterday it was a very uh, actually great day for us and that is what we uh, that's what we want actually so thank you very much guys uh, for those who wants to be part of the team if you want to receive the signals uh, this winning signals that we have uh, you can see lifetime is 250 dollars it's a lifetime you can recover your money anytime 12 months very cheap 150 dollars six months uh, actually uh, 80 dollars i hope you see that i hope you see that so thank you very much guys this is kenzo extra hot forex don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends and uh, guys the reason why we don't go live currently is because hey, i have some uh, issue uh, that i need to actually attend which is prime prime is giving me some issues and you know i need to talk to this uh, programmers or whatever because they uh, we pay them uh, to do that so i need to be there and try to uh, actually attend to everything that maybe needs to be changed so that that's why that sometimes takes my time so thank you very much this is kenzo extra forex i hope you're gonna eat thank you